Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 90 Seconds. We need a little bit more time today, and the reason why is we're going to cover a hard concept, a concept that's huge in microeconomics. The question is this, why is marginal revenue less than the demand curve for all imperfectly competitive firms? Your teacher already talked about perfect competition. They told you about um, the price and the marginal revenue equaling each other. Demand and the marginal revenue equal each other, and all of a sudden now we're saying the marginal revenue is not equal to the demand. All right, for this firm, for a monopoly. Which doesn't make sense. If you think about it, if I sell another unit for $7, shouldn't the additional revenue I generate be $7? Well, it doesn't, and here's the concept. I'm gonna explain it to you in 90 seconds. Take a look over here. Let's make sure we got this. A monopoly wants to set a price, right, because they're a price maker. Let's say they set a price of 11, no one buys. Quantity is zero, total revenue is zero. If they want to sell one, they've got to lower the price. So let's say they go ahead and lower the price, they sell this unit for $10. So they sell a unit for $10, one person buys, 10 times one, the total revenue is $10. Marginal revenue is the change in total revenue, so it went up by 10. Okay, that's easy. Wait, so the price is the marginal revenue, the demand equals the marginal revenue. But hold on a second, let's sell another unit. The monopoly needs to sell another unit. In this situation, they have to lower the price to get someone else to sell more, right? So they're going to the price down to nine, but they can't price discriminate. They can't charge one person $10 and somebody else $9 or else the first person will get angry, right? So they're not selling the first unit 10 anymore, they're selling it for nine. Nine is the price. Nine times two, because they're selling two units, is 18. Hey, look at the marginal revenue, it increased by eight. What, how is it eight? I sold a unit for nine, how is it eight? Well, the reason why I sold it for nine, but I lost a dollar on that unit that I would have sold at a higher price when I had to lower it down to nine. Let's do it again. One more time, take a look. I want to sell another unit. I want to sell it for $8, because no one else is going to buy it if I don't lower the price. I lower the price down to eight, but I have to do it for all units. When I lower the price, $8 is the price, times three, that's 24. The marginal revenue is not eight. Take a look, the marginal revenue increased by six. The marginal revenue is six. So that's the concept, and now, done. Time for a bonus round. If that makes sense, awesome. To me, it's not that easy. If, that just, if you get that, perfect. Let me show you this a few more rounds. Make sure you understand the concept. Here we go. Good, now I want to sell another unit. What's a monopoly got to do to sell another unit? They got to lower the price. If they lower the price, they got to lower the price of all the units, including the ones they would have sold at a higher price. So take a look at this next one. Now they're going to sell four units. And they're going to sell these four units at $7 a piece. $7, $7, $7, $7. When they do this at $7, they sold four units. Seven times four is going to give you 28, right? The marginal revenue from 24 to 28, it went up by four. That makes sense. The demand, people want to pay $7 for the fourth unit, but the marginal revenue is not $7. It's only $4. And that's how I got this graph. This graph is those numbers plotted. Take a look, it's for this first unit, people are willing to pay $10, right? That's the demand, the marginal revenue equals to it. All right, that makes sense. For the second unit, people are willing to pay $9, right, $9 for the second unit, but the marginal revenue is not $9, right? It's $8, again, it's because I sold the one unit for nine, minus a dollar for the, uh, the product I would have sold at a higher price. So it's right there, it's eight. For the third unit, people are willing and able to pay, it says right there, they're willing to pay $8, but the marginal revenue is only six. For this next one, for the fourth unit, people want to pay seven dollars, but the marginal revenue is only four. If that makes sense, I want you to finish this last one off, okay? I want to sell another unit. I'm a monopoly, what do I got to do? Well, I got to lower my price. If I lower my price, good, I'm going to get a marginal revenue. I want you to please put the numbers that go here, 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 and right there. I'll go ahead and pause for you. Ready and go. Did you pause? Okay, what goes here? Well, I'm gonna lower my price down to six. All right, when I do that, six dollars times, you can see five, is 30. That gives me my total revenue. My total revenue increased by only two. I sold another unit for six, but my marginal revenue isn't six, it's two, because I lose dollars on all the previous units that I could have sold at a higher price. That's a concept, you're gonna need it for imperfect competition. Until next time.